for this lesson, we're going to be talking about rounding. So think back to what your teachers said in previous years about rounding. I know they probably had some awesome little tips and tricks to help you remember. I know sometimes teachers talk about this, you're like rolling up a hill. So if you're, if you're going up here, oh, you can't quite get there. So you're going back down versus if you make it all the way up to here, then you can go all the way to the next number, okay? Sometimes I like to think about it as a high five. So if it's five or above, you're going up. Um, but then, yeah, one, two, three, or four, you stay the same. All right, now we're rounding to the nearest thousand today which will be similar to any other number you've rounded to. We're just going to have to make sure we can find the thousands place. So if I give you a number like 6,541, we want to say, okay, which thousands is this closest to? If I think about a number line and I say, okay, I have 6,000 down here. I have 7,000 up here. Okay, where does this number belong? Well, if I split it up, one, two, three, four, five. So that would be the middle, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay, so if this is 6,500, because 500 is halfway, this number is going to be somewhere in there. Oh, and look, I can look and see, okay, it's going to be closer to 7,000. Now, they're not always going to draw you a nice little number line. So you're going to have to be able to look at this number and see what it's closest to. So if I think, okay, this is the thousands place. Let me look next door. Five. If I think about that hill, I already got to the top of the hill so I can go up and go to the next number. Or high five takes me to the next number. So the six will change to a seven. Everything else will become a zero. Okay, so that rounds to 7,000 if I'm rounding to the nearest 1,000. Now, say I have a number like 8,231. Okay, again, if somebody were nice enough to draw you a number line, hopefully you can see, you'll be able to see which 1,000 it's closest to. So again, 8,500 is halfway. Okay, so if we say, okay, 8,100, 8,200, so this is going to be somewhere in there. Okay, oh, definitely closer to 8,000 than 9,000. So that's what it's going to round to. But if I want to use, just looking at the numbers, 8 is the thousands place. Look next door at the 2. The 2 is less than 5, so that tells me my 8 is going to stay the same. Now, I often will say stays the same. It's, it's really the same thing as rounding down. If I think of it on a number line, you can see how I'm sort of going down to this number. But if we're thinking of it in terms of the digits, the digit in the thousands place is either going to go up or it's going to stay the same. This digit is never actually going to go down. The rest of it is going away, so the whole number is going down and getting smaller, but the first digit or the digit in the thousands place isn't. That's why sometimes I'll say, I'll say stay the same instead of saying round down, just so you know why I do that. Let's keep rounding some more numbers. If I have a number like... Mm, 9,671. Let's just think about the numbers this time. 9 is in the thousands place. 6, higher than 5, high 5, so it tells me to round up. This 9 is going to go up to a 10, which works in this case. Oops, the rest go to 0. Okay, sometimes it'll get a little wonky, but for this one, 9,671 rounds up to 10,000. It's closer to 10,000 
than it is to 9,000. Uh, if I have 2,429, two is in the thousands place, four is the ne number next door that tells me what to do. That four tells me, oh, okay, less than five. So this two is going to stay the same and the whole number is going to go down to 2,000. Now, sometimes we might get a bigger number than the thousands place and we can still round it to the nearest thousand. I might get 100, 120, 7,659 and say, okay, if I'm rounding to the nearest thousand, I still want to find the thousands place. Seven is the thousands place. Six is next door. Six still tells me to round up. Either think about that little hill. If five is in the middle, six is on this side. So we're going up to the next number or high five. Seven goes up to eight. Everything in front will stay the same. Everything afterward turns into a zero. Because think about on a number line. If I have 127,659, I really just want to find which thousand it's closest to. So either it's closer to 127,000 or 128,000. Okay, so then I know that it's going to be at like the 600-ish. So if this is the 500, it's going to be here-ish. So I know it's going to be closer to 128,000. Okay. I'll do a few more examples, but a lot of rounding is really just recognizing, okay, how does this work, getting in the habit, the patterns, noticing um, how it's working. So, if I have 85,210, rounding it to the nearest thousand again, to nearest thousand, then I'm going to find the thousands place, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. This number is going to tell me what I need to do, the one right next door. Two tells me to round down, so five will stay the same. Still have my eight though, because I want 85,000. And then just zeros after that. I want to show you one example with a nine. Like I said, because that gets a little strange sometimes. If I have, oops, no, I meant right. I'll go 59,621. Um, so I'm again rounding to the nearest thousand. This nine is in the thousands place. The six is next door. Six mills tells me to round up. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine tell me to round up. One, two, three, and four, or zero, tell me to stay the same. So six tells me to round up. So this nine is going to go up to a 10. But I can't just go 510,000 because that's not close to 59,000. I either want to go to 60 or 58, or 59 or 60. So what I'm really sort of doing is I'm taking this nine, I'm turning it into a 10, and I'm carrying the one, if you wanna think of it like that. Or think of this as 59, and you're increasing to 60. Either way, that's what'll happen with a nine. You don't actually write the 10 in there unless it's a nine by itself. All right. We're going to use rounding these numbers in the next lesson, so really make sure you have a good understanding of how to round numbers to the nearest thousand.